At the National Geographic Society, we explore our changing planet and enable millions to better understand it. And we've been doing it for more than a century. We have an epic story that is far from finished. But to understand where we're going, we must first explore where we began. It all started with an invitation. On a cold winter night in Washington, D.C., our 33 founders came together. They're geologists and cartographers, bankers and lawyers, naturalists and military leaders. But they all believe that science and a heightened understanding of our world has the power to change it for the better. It's a time when large areas of the planet are still uncharted, and ventures into the unknown require resources and a platform of support. Even without a staff or headquarters, our newborn society offers just that. And it isn't long before explorers keen to share their adventures join in. To share our discoveries, we create what would become one of the most recognizable publications in the world, the National Geographic Magazine. The very first issue is sent to a roster of just 200 members. And from there, our society takes off. inspire the public, we'd need to do more than tell good stories. Photography, our editors realize, would be the way to truly show people the world. And the more innovative we could be, the better. Of course, the drive to innovate goes beyond image capture. carry well into the future. It's totally amazing. I mean, they, it's the first flight of a, of a butterfly with a tag. By the 1950s, once uncharted regions have been mapped, and a desire to understand how we fit into Earth's grand story is emerging, we champion Lewis and Mary Leakey's search for humanity's origins and support Jane Goodall's work in Gombe National Park to study wild chimpanzees by living among them. The fascinating thing is that so many of the gestures used by the chimps are the same as ours. Soon, our explorers are reaching all corners of the globe and beyond. Astronaut John Glenn carries our geographic flag into space in 1962. And a year later, Barry Bishop plants one on Everest when he and a team become the first Americans to reach the summit. Then with film from the expedition, we create and air our very first television special. This is Everest, summit of the world. It becomes the highest rated documentary ever. Four specials per year would follow. Not only would they become must see events, they'd often showcase some of our greatest discoveries. <laughs> the sucker exists! <laughs> God damn! But as we disseminate awes and wonders, we recognize the world is changing and embrace the need to share harsh realities, too. Stories of threatened species, pollution, and injustice are featured and photographers turn their lenses on these hard truths. We become a mirror to the world. And as we celebrate our first century in 1988, we commence our second by striving to encourage a better stewardship of the planet. We have the power to alter the nature of the ocean. If we don't do something now, if we don't do it today, we can forget about it. My proudest moments have been when the president of a country has signed a law to protect those places. 
When I am exposed to an unfair fight, I have not been able to turn away. Can we learn enough, fast enough, to apply what we know to turn things in a positive direction? As our explorers lead by example, we begin arming new generations with knowledge and an appreciation for our planet through educational outreach around the world. Children understand very quickly. I think that, that young people, by and large, get the message that every individual can make a difference every day. We were watching the video, and then when it was over, he walked in the door. With the world in a constant state of change, we make it our responsibility to explore and understand that change and share new findings as widely as possible. By 1995, our magazine goes international. Within a year, our first website is created. Soon after, National Geographic channels launch internationally and in the U.S. Within a decade, we're reaching hundreds of millions of people across the globe and have now sponsored more than 13,000 scientific research, conservation, and exploration projects. It seems the vision of our 33 founders has been more than realized. But that's no reason to rest. Being satisfied has never been part of our DNA. In 2015, we created National Geographic Partners. Now our platform is unrivaled. And it's supporting our global nonprofit team as we award more grants, create more programs, launch initiatives, engage classrooms, and develop the next generation of changemakers at a time when the work of National Geographic has never been more important. We remain committed to protecting our planet, to understanding our place and responsibility, and to overcoming our greatest challenges. But where do we go from here? Had our founders asked this question way back in 1888, the answer would have been the same as it is today.